Adobe Illustrator 2024 has amazing new AI features. Actually, now we do have an amazing feature. It's called text to vector graphic, where you can type your text prompt and get vectors. Can you imagine that? Loseless quality vectors based on text. And actually what you see in here is a quick example for that. And you will get that by default when you install Illustrator 2024. You can see that on right side in your properties panel. Here you can see that we do have text vector type. We can select from here either subject, scene, icon, or pattern. And that's in here our prompt. Minimal skull with roses and throny veins, which is assembled by Adobe, and we do have different options as you can see. So, if we deselect that one, so you can see how that looks like, we can select that one once again. We can select another variation from these in here. And as you can see, guys, selecting direct selection tool, you can see these are all vectors. So, I'm doing that and let's remove that skull. Let's see it from scratch. Selecting move tool, deleting that. We can select rectangle tool and let's draw rectangle across our artboard and instead of subject we can select scene then we can type uh, psychedelic summary scene hit return and we have that option in here we can select our move tool click outside to see how that looks like we can reselect it again and check other variations that one might be nice I really like that one, it's very complex. And actually once we select that one once again, we have contextual bar as you can see, just like in Photoshop, where you can generate or recolor that artwork if you're not happy with these colors. And also we do have ungroup or duplicate, lock object, and even we do have more options in here, like maybe hiding the bar or reset bar position and so on. And also we do have that cog in here or that gear, or you can click on that one. If you want to have maybe less details, we can crank that one down like so and hit generate for a similar scene maybe. Also, we can select that one and click in here to get sample prompts if you don't even have an inspiration to start with. So maybe something like vintage car, you can click in here and see what you get. Something like that maybe or that one or that one and you do have options for each and every variation if you'd like to say good result to train that ai or poor result or as usual you can edit the settings from here if you'd like to have more or less details and even we do have style picker so for instance we have these colors let's grab a photo that photo in here and then let's select that image and clicking in here we can sample from that image as in many cases it's so hard to describe a style for another image so we're gonna click on that image it should copy that style so now we do have that style we can generate that's actually an artwork we've been created in our illustrator section in graphic design master class now we do have a similar color palette though they are completely different subjects in here these are weird characters and monsters and stuff like that and that's a vintage style car however you can see a similar color palette in here and even curves these rounds in here remind me of that eye for instance we can select that one and see the other options as well maybe that one definitely we do have more bean colors and violets just like that image we do have oranges and actually i think we do have even better results from the initial result we got from that prompt so let's check third one <laughs> really cool and what's really amazing is that you can draw more objects and elements in here so let's select that one select maybe that one and draw another rectangle in here like so and let's type sun see what we get and notice guys what we get in here we do have a complete scene on top of that scene and it's matching the original scene as well because we do have that option enabled match active artboard style if we disable that one we should get different colors and different style so we're gonna keep that one enabled however let's check other variations as well maybe that one here and pressing command and clicking outside to check that one out so instead of doing that let's 
reselect our scene again and make that subject generate now we do have a sun that's matching our vector artwork so that one looks nice we can check even that one as well not that much maybe that one i think that's the best one for our artwork we can draw a tree and keep adding more elements like so this could be very handy for inspiration or even creating an artwork from scratch we do have a nice tree in here we can try that one out even we can enlarge that vector holding and maintaining shift key enlarging that tree like so clicking outside and it's matching our original artwork in background and even if you're looking for a cleaner results you can delete everything in here and let's draw a rectangle like so and instead of subject we can select something like icon and as you can see do have sample prompts in here so let's type geometric eagle inspired by that one generate so that's what we got in here and we do have other two options but remember guys we have one on that scale for details we can increase actually detail maybe to metal and hit generate again and see what we get so we get these options in here i guess let's try something like a tree and see what we get as an icon because these can be used maybe in maps at least as a starting sketch for you guys oh i think we do have some cool results in here that one and that one as well very cool actually this could be used right away in some designs or even can be a starting point for your sketch i really like that one so i'm gonna keep it i guess so let's maybe auto recolor that one which is by the way a new other feature in adobe illustrator 2024 so here we can click on that one you'll see generative recolor and as you can see guys here you can type a descriptive text to get generated color variations so here as you can see you can describe color palette mode or even a theme and even if you feel lazy and you can't come up with something you can select from these sample prompts in here so for instance i like that one we need to agree for that and in that case we get four different variations we can select maybe that one which is called lavender storm and even you can add more colors if you'd like from here or you can go to advanced options and from here you can adjust these colors even more maybe mess with hue saturation or brightness and then you can generative recolor that artwork again that could be very handy if you want to create different color palettes for the same artwork or design also let's go ahead and select pattern which is really cool by the way we can select maybe from these i like sea waves when you feel too lazy to think about different prompts adobe got you covered in that part as well i feel our main struggle these days is with text prompts when it comes to ai tools as ai is doing most of the heavy lifting for us so adobe is solving that as well they are giving us sample prompts so instead let's delete that one and redraw another rectangle and let's generate beta to get even more shapes for the pattern that one reminds me of kane's album cover under the iron sea now we do have these patterns added to our swatches we can click in here we can select from these patterns and instead of stroke we need to add that to fill my bad actually so let's go to swatches again you can see that newly generated pattern let's select that one and as you can see guys if we expand that rectangle we're gonna get more of that pattern just like patterns would do Another amazing feature in Adobe Illustrator 2024 is retype. So here for instance we do have an image and that image happened to have a cool font <laughs> like that one here, that G, I really like that font and that design world as well is using the same font I designed that one before. However now I don't really remember that font and maybe I don't have access to that AI file on that computer or even maybe I can use that feature for any image I find online and I like to use that font within that image now you can select that image go to type you'll find retype which is beta 
now it's processing as you can see probably that's the font I used in that design before a very similar G in here however I think we need to download that it's gonna take 400 megabytes too large I think so I'll be seeing you after that download so after download completed we do have design word selected and it has detected all text within that image we can select digital you can see a similar font in here and even graphic or that part of graphic so if we select design and select that font press apply now we do have converted to live text exit retype to edit now we press exit and as you can see guys now we do have that text typed for us we can select our type tool we have that new font added we can retype <laughs> that again very handy tool as you can see that's live text from an image also now in illustrator 2024 now we can convert outline text to live text so let's type that font in here t we have that font selected for us or maybe that's a different font we'll see now we'll type graphic okay holding alt and shift key enlarging that one Selecting that font, changing color because I like that other green, so you can easy see that font. Now we do have a live text, we can select our type tool, pressing T on keyboard, we can edit that text as you can see. However, let's select our move tool again and go to type where we're gonna create outline. Now that's no longer a live text, that's actually outline if we select our direct selection tool select that G you can see that we do have a vector shape that could be handy when you're sending your files to a printer for example and that printer doesn't have your font or a similar scenario where you're sending your design files to someone who doesn't has that font however if you have a file that's outlined like that and you want to edit that text now you can do that in illustrator 2024 so we're gonna be selecting that shape in here then we're gonna go to type retype beta we're gonna select the font apply exit now we have that as a live text again you can tell from that line or even you can select your type tool you can click in here and remove that g like so and type maybe oh or something like that so that could be a very handy feature as well if you do have outline logos or outline text and you want to re-edit that text or something like that another amazing feature is that you can showcase your vector shapes or logos on mockups this is still in beta by the way while you're watching that video however in that example here i created a coffee bean using text prompt and i recolored that one using generative recolor so everything is AI so far I didn't do anything and while having that shape selected we can go to object then we do have mockup make once you click that you need to install it for first time it's gonna be 400 megabytes so I'm gonna see you after that install so once we downloaded that one we do have some mockups in here we do have branding graphics so these are like brochures we do have bags IDs stuff like that clicking in here mockup so once we click on mockup we're gonna see a preview for that on all these elements and even if we hover over that we can edit on canvas but let me select something like that bag so you can see what's going to happen now we can move that one around and as you can see guys it's wrapping around the bag so maybe you're looking for a preview like that or like so and even you can edit opacity as well a bit so it's gonna be more convincing like so very handy even we can hover over her shirt or the part something like that and even we do have other options as well like packaging coffee beans let's try it on a coffee bag looks like a coffee bag to me <laughs> we can move it to here reduce opacity as well like so coffee cup so basically you get the idea guys it's gonna be changing perspective wrapping around elements like so even his hand <laughs> if you wanna preview a tattoo as well you can do that in here this could be very convincing as well for type 
or maybe these recycling icons and stuff like that. Very cool updates as you can see in Adobe Illustrator. That was Khalil Ibrahim with you. Go ahead and experiment with these new amazing features.